today's video, I want to show you how I'm growing this amazing food in a bale garden right near my kitchen. It's producing soil at the same time as well as getting food onto the table fast. Now, you can implement something like this at home and build soils at the same time and create a habitat that's going to keep on giving for many, many years to come. And it just keeps getting better and better. Tell you what, you are mighty hungry. Look what I did the bag, look. Look, ooh, some yummies, let's go. Scatter it right around because that way they then they scoot all around the place and don't try and get over the fence. At the moment, they're getting onto the coop over there and launching themselves over when they get hungry. So if I throw seed around everywhere, they hunt for hours and then don't worry about getting out again until they get hungry. I've got to move this whole fence and uh, make a bigger setup for them, push the coop back further so they can't do the super launch. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful morning. Actually, it feels more like a winter's morning. I'm being it up and got me the jumper on. And I got up early to film the sunrise and have a look at the mist and look at the cows and things and just watch what's going on because there's all this like amazing rain out west. It's like flooding rain in the desert land of Australia that we never, we very rarely have these events. Now all the rain's down south and west of me as I just said, but it's pushing up all this moisture from out to sea and over the top of the farmland around here and over the top of these plants. Now my bale garden really likes this type of moisture. Now Generally going into spring like this, a lot of these plants such as the red mustard and a lot of the lettuces and things, they bolt to seed quite quickly. But because it's been a cooler spring, I'm able to pull off these crops much longer. Now, the giant red mustard, it is an awesome plant for like making into stir fries and especially for me into scrambled eggs. Now there's a few plants here planted into this bale because it's shallow rooted and it actually performs quite well along with the lettuce and it gives me another food to harvest. Now coming into fall, wherever you are in the world, coming into fall, this is an amazing plant. I'll let you know something about this baby cos lettuce here. These guys were actually pulled out of a bale and they were just chopped at the bottom. They were their regrow plants. So these are regrowing, ones that I've saved out of the other bales and just put them in here. They looked absolutely shocking. So bad, I didn't want to share them in a video because you just go, Marty, you absolutely suck. But look how healthy they are now. They've regrown, come back, and man, with a vengeance. Actually, yesterday, Fatso the chicken was sitting on here going bang, 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 like a machine gun, grabbing the tops of his leaves. I saved this patch within seconds. So what have I learned about this bale garden so far? Well, you need to wet them down consistently. They dry out quick. And when you're curing them, they need to be really soaked before you start adding the compost and planting in them. And you need to come out sometimes three or four times a day, depending on the weather. Now, if you've got wet weather like this, a lot of humidity in the air, it doesn't really matter so much. But Lettuce especially doesn't like to dry out, and if it does, it becomes bitter in taste. It looks great, and you eat it and go, why does that lettuce taste so crap? Well, you just haven't given it enough nitrogen and enough moisture. But in the beginning, you need to get out here, water it down all the time, wet it down with a hose, make sure it's continually damp, because as soon as it dries out, you have problems. You want it to be moist, and locking in the moisture right inside the bale and then it starts decomposing down and getting better and better. It's creating a soil 
right here on this space as we speak and I've been digging around seeing heaps of worms man native worms are just pouring in here we got fungi and all different stuff popping out of these bales man it is all on I'm telling you into the next stages soon for this system super stoked and I can't recommend it enough you can get any type of bale you're on heavy clay or sand and you don't want to dig this is a great way to get started and it's a really cheap way to build a garden as well now I am putting up garden beds they're coming over somewhere in this space I've got a special guest well it's been arranged nothing is super well and confirmed actually I just don't want to give up to give out too much hope but yeah we're building some beds here three raised ones with special guests coming to Marty's garden soon can you guess who it just may be so this is a brand new bale garden with around about a foot of compost on top just been layering it on letting it cure not really putting many plants in here so we've got peas dwarf capsicum lettuce parsley a larger capsicum some more peas some oregano and thyme and things to spill over the sides and i'm really excited about this one gonna have some tomatoes and different things climbing up this vertical space here and oh man keep an eye open because it's good to see the development and stay tuned so you can keep watching how it's performing and learn how you may want to do something like this for your self-sufficient garden at home remember as i keep on saying this is building soils as well as growing food i want to thank peppy fassos for providing me with these beautiful edible flowers growing on the edge of my bale here you can also see some nasturtiums that are planted under the bale and poking through and as it decomposes this whole system is going to get fed and the flowers bring in more insects and help for habitat for the beneficials as well so stoked to have them along the edge of the bale garden now right at the end of the bale garden you can see also provided by Pepe Fassos is some beautiful beautiful absolutely love them society garlic moidable flowers and leaves see how i'm planting on the edge of the bales now red vein sorrel also planted on the edge of the bale which is going to be an amazing crop because it's a perennial and will keep producing food for years to come around this place and right beside it is actually a marigold so Oh, I'm just super excited to be making plenty of food with this and harvesting microgreens and baby leaf. Also at the bottom of another bale is a button squash. Now this will grow roots under the bale and be self-fed by the system as well. And within about three weeks, I reckon I'm going to have some beautiful little buttons to harvest and add to my meals at home for my self-sufficient garden. Bordering along the edges, here of the garden garlic chives and more coriander sprouting through now these garlic chives are ready to be harvested so really stoked there's even more food coming through right on the edge of the bale is some thyme now I will be using this in lots of cooking but I'll also spread it along as layers and let it just tumble over the side of the bale garden and it's just absolutely so welcome right there and it won't use up any space and as i said it will just fall down and become a part of this whole living system oregano has also been put into the bale now it's a shallow rooted plant so it's a herb that will perform very quickly in these bale gardens and i use it mostly in pasta dishes and on pizza i absolutely love this mixed with thyme actually and oregano into a patty oh man it is just the bomb curly leaf parsley is also very welcome now it has a bigger root system so it takes longer to get established but being a perennial within a few months it'll just be loving being in this bale garden when you're first getting started i recommend that you start some in pots 
and then you actually have like down the bottom you let the water just drain through into the garden every time you water now I've got it next to the bale so all the water goes down through and the worms and things start moving in now this tomato is absolutely loving this spot because it's right next to a white wall where the sun comes in in the morning which is just about to hit now reflects back and creates all this extra light so I can grow winter tomatoes here I reckon and into the summer all year round as long as I pick the right variety right so keep on watching guys plenty more content on the way another tomato planted right beside the bale in a shady spot but as soon as he reaches his head out he's going to hit the sun and produce a nice big root system on the edge of that bale it's getting self-fed and it's gonna just go mental there i'm pretty sure this is a black cherry tomato so if you are going to build a bale garden and you want to get started the best way is to lay down as much cardboard as you can first in that space and don't really dig just avoid the digging unless your clay is so heavy like my spot here the clay is so gnarly like you could actually make pots out of this <laughs> and uh, I just put down cardboard to cover the weeds and there are worms coming in. If you want to speed up the process you can do some digging but it's just extra labour. I am doing some digging gardens here then we've got as I mentioned before the raised garden beds coming in. I'm going to try and show different ways to garden in a small urban space. Well it's a fair space here. Uh, so you can learn how to keep growing food uh, at home. Now, I highly recommend that you just focus on the seasons. It's really important to grow what's in season. Now, as we're going into La Nina here on the east coast of Australia, it's all a little bit different. Things are going to be much cooler, and I reckon we can push those crops a little bit further into the edges. The only problem is, is that we get this odd day where the weather can go back to normal and get really hot. So we've got to be prepared for these radical changes as everything goes on. Now, as we speak, the sun is coming up behind me through this mist, shining on my face and starting to put some shadows on the house. Did you notice it coming through? Just absolutely beautiful. So just a really quick video for you guys today and I will keep you updated and informed. I'm thinking about creating a whole lot of series of different topics on here so you can choose what topic that you want to follow but I'm just not sure what to call them and to do with them just yet but they're gonna happen. Just need to think about it a little bit. All right you have a great day. Happy everything. I'm going to show you what's coming through the sun here in a second. Oh, it's just beautiful. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for that, and I'll say goodbye for now. Oh, my eyes, I can hardly see it's coming through so bright. Bye for now.